I had allergic reaction to microblading and at that point I started regretting my life that why did I put myself through this pain? Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Guys, first things first, it's really hot today. It's really hot, like it's 31 degrees. So if you see me sweating, please allow me, allow me, yeah? Anyways, my name is Timmy, and if you're new to my channel, hey girl and hey boy. And if you're an OG, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please be kind enough to give this video a massive thumbs up before you continue watching. And if you love the vibes, then definitely hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Anyways guys, today we're going to be talking about my microblading or micro or combo brows. Yeah, combo brows, but I mean everyone says microblading anyways. So make sure to get yourself a cup of coffee, iced coffee because it's really hot right now. Or a glass of wine or cold water because you guys are really going to need it. And um, yeah, so first things first, cheers to one year of my microblading. Oh. This was really needed. First things first, guys, I have nothing on my brows, like literally, nothing. Nothing on my brows, do you guys see? I just, let me rub my brows again, so you guys can see that I have nothing on my brows. I have zero, zero thing on my brows, yeah? I got my makeup blazing done combo brows guys I got combination brows so that's a combination of microblading and micro shading I got it done on the 1st of September 2022 today is 6th of September so it's literally you know a year and a couple of days now and um yeah so I actually wanted to do this video before but I kind of chickened out because I'm like what if people don't watch it you know do people still get their eyebrows microbladed in 2023 but I just you know want to give you guys an update and share my experience with you guys but yeah so like i said i got my eyebrows done on the 1st of september last year so this time i was planning on coming to the uk and guys it took me well over like what a month before i decided but before that time i was watching videos you know i was checking a couple of people in nigeria that does microblading you know just to be sure because you don't want to go to the wrong place but again i'm coming to the uk and i know that microblading in the uk is obviously going to be way more expensive am i gonna have time i did my pros and cons i know obviously as well i could get my brows laminated and tinted as well but then i calculated how much i would have to do that in a year and then i calculated how much my microblading would cost me and how long it was gonna stay on and i was like you know what i'm just gonna do the microblading i eventually paid the lady and i was like you know what i'm paying now but i'm not ready to do it now but my brother was going for his biometrics and i was like you know what let's just go to lagos together so i went there the first thing they did was they numbed my eyebrows with this cream so after numbing the brow she drew it and the mistake i made was the fact that i did not properly properly check if that was the shape i wanted now quite correct it was the shape i wanted but after the microblading and after my eyebrows started growing because my this other brow this brow is perfect yeah but this other one um she kind of like microbladed or micro shaded on top of where my hair starts from so so I should have really started from where my um you know my hair is gonna start growing from underneath but that was my mistake anyways because I didn't check properly so you know she did it and I was like yeah that's, that's fine and we got started now the pain my pain threshold is very low so for, for me the pain was I would say a 7.9 out of 10 if you're doing microblading alone like I said I did microblading and micro shading so she just saw my brows and was like oh I'm gonna need micro shading because obviously there's some part of my brows that are really sparse i could have altered out of micro micro shading if i wanted to but i was like you know what i might as well so i got the both of them done now when she was microblading because of the numbing cream i didn't feel pain i would say the pain of microblading alone is two or three out of ten but you see when the shading that's where the issue is it's just like you getting tattooed you know when they're shading it yeah that's where you feel the pain oh my god we numbed those brows like three times but I asked the paint, I was like, hmm. Mm. it wasn't even a joke i was like oh my god this is so painful when it was done you know i really really liked it i really liked it and then she gave me that like, cream vitamin a and e or something like that that i would have to put there so you know i got home the first day it was really nice now the healing process 
for me was really different from everyone's video that I watched. Now, everyone's video that I watched for the healing process, I think like the fourth day or the third day, it was already scabbing, was escaping or scabbing. But guys, tell me why mine took like what seven days before you know it started falling off. And I think the third day I had allergic reaction to microblading, and at that point I started regretting my life that why did I put myself through this pain. Like, I was like, who sent me? Who asked me to get my eyebrows microbladed? Bear in mind that, you know, I watched tons and tons and tons of videos and not once did I see anyone talk about, you know, getting an allergic reaction. Now, I'm gonna see if I have a picture or a video or something and put it on the screen for you guys to see. So, I didn't really get anyone that had the reaction. And I messaged her immediately, I sent her the video because my eye was really puffy, guys. It was so puffy and it was really embarrassing embarrassing and she was like oh i'm probably reacting to it and it might not be every vendor that does microblading in nigeria but i feel like before you do that they should tell you oh you know you you might react to it a certain way but i didn't get that information so i was really really scared but on the fifth or sixth day the puffiness you know just went down one thing you're going to experience in microblading you're going to miss having water all over your face you know those times where you feel lazy to wash your face you're going to to miss it. I think the first day I couldn't wash my face. She literally told me that you know the third day or the second day I could literally start washing my face, put water on my face and everything. But I don't want stories that I touch. I don't want to have the case of oh I put water on my face or water touched my eyebrows. Now it's not the way it's supposed to be. So I think on the sixth day because I like to wash my face in the shower anyway so I was just literally just putting water or like some certain part of my face um to kind of wash off my face and everything. On the tenth day that's when you know I went all in and this time around you know the scarring everything was already starting to fall off um I think I had just a few left and I would say on the 14th day or maybe the 15th day that's literally when you know everything fell off like everything looked really good now I know they will tell you as well that you know you would get purple tint or so I can't remember what kind of shade or grayish I did get the grayish when the scarves came off for just like a day but after that time Time, everything was fine the color came together I loved it guys I'm not even gonna lie I loved it I did not go back for a refill because I wanted to see what it's gonna be like after two years because for me I feel like it's gonna be a waste of money anyways so I didn't go back again because I wasn't ready to go through the pain and the reason why I also did not go back again was because yeah, I was coming to, to the UK so between the time it was going to heal and the time I would come to the UK yeah I didn't have time you need about six weeks to be fully healed so I didn't have that time so it didn't make sense for me to go back or anything like that now it's a year and this this is what my eyebrows looks like do I have any regrets no I don't have no regrets would I get it done again certainly I would definitely get it done again I would get it done in Nigeria because it's really expensive here as well I got mine done on discount for 35,000 naira I got it done in Lagos I think her name is her Nikki I'm gonna put it on the the screen for you guys to see and also in the description box as well and um yeah what else am i missing do i recommend this of course i recommend it if that's what you want to do if you want to take off time you know you don't want to draw your eyebrows like this is literally saving my life i have not drawn my eyebrows in well over like seven seven eight months now i think the last time i drew my brows was maybe february apart from that i've not drawn on my brows because i don't feel the need to i just brush it up and matter of fact i've not even threaded my brows and i'm hoping i would do that but yeah i would totally recommend it of course like i said it depends on your pain threshold mine is really low but it was still bearable for me and i am loving my brows it's a year and a couple of days and this is what it looks like i can't wait to see when it starts to wear off um maybe that time i would be ready and then hop on the plane to nigeria and get it done now i would definitely get it done the same place where i got it done because for me i feel like this is really natural i mean a lot of people are scared that you know they might get the brows done and it might not be natural especially combo brows combination brows but i got combination brows and this is what my eyebrows are looking like i love them they're perfect maybe if i had done microblading alone um it would have like probably like you know rubbed off but yeah 
so that's my one year update let me know in the comment if you've gotten your eyebrows microbladed or micro shaded and let me know what you guys think about your brows if would you do it again would you recommend and yeah let me know your thoughts again and if you watch up until this point and you're yet to like this video please go ahead and give this video a massive thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and i'll see you my babes in the next video because i really want to see you in the next video until then stay easy stay breezy and stay beautiful period